Tenen! Okay, um, do you remember the King Grinder P2? Okay, so I haven't I haven't really played with it yet because um, the Philippine Coffee Expo, um, we attended the Philippine Coffee Expo. We were invited to be one of the um, guest brewers. So I did a bar takeover with Escolta Coffee Company and the Philippine Coffee Guild. Anyway, today we are going to define what is the um, conversion of the King Grinder P2 based on the Commandante settings. Right, so according to the website, the King Grinder P2 has 75, um, 75 click settings. So looking at the looking at the um, adjustment plate it has 10 numbers 10 numbers with three three clicks per number so in one rotation we have 30 clicks right so two rotations is 60 and then two and a half is 75 so we zero it down in my case my zero clicks on my king grinder p2 is number six so one rotation of that is 30. Okay, another rotation is 60. And then half of that is 75. So this should be the biggest one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to match the biggest setting of the King Grinder P2 versus the biggest of the Commandante C40. And then we move from there. So, we will try and match the um, grind size from there. Okay, so when we are doing this, we're just gonna try and grind a little bit at the time, at a time, just a little bit at a time. So, okay, now I'm gonna get my king, ah, my commandante C40. And then I'm gonna turn that into 40 clicks because the Commandante C40, the biggest setting that I use is at 40. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the fines because um, grinders differ in the production of their micro fines. It needs to be taken out of the equation so that we can actually see the grind size that it produces. The real grind size. Now, after taking out the micro fine particles of the Commandante, Oh, by the way, the sieve that we're using right now is the generic um, sifter and it removes 500 microns and below. Alright. Now I just need to clean this up before we use it for the... Now that it's clean, we're gonna use it with the P2 to see if we have matching sizes. Right. Um hmm. I think we have exactly the same <laughs> um grind size. Um we can actually take this further with the dye fluid particle analyzer. Let me just get my setup. We have this simple contraption where I um, actually made my own um, particle analyzer based off on their file, on the dye fluid file. So we're gonna try the Commandante first. 
test. So that is around 1,500 microns. Okay. Now, where is my... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I will be making a video about the, the rig of the particle analyzer soon. But... Yeah, I'm still enjoying it, so... Watch out for that. Okay, now we're gonna try the P2. And yes, we have very close numbers. 1,553. I think we are both at the same, um, same size with the biggest one. It's a, it's a bit of a laborious um, process, but it makes sense. It actually works. Now that we have the rough um, chart for the P2, we're going to try another size. So I'm going to try, yeah, let's try 20 clicks on the Commandante. Okay, so we're going to do it one more time. That is 20 clicks. Oh, I forgot to use the shaker, the sifter. Okay, when we remove the microfine particles, um, it's actually easier to see the um, intended grind size of the setting that we're trying to do. Now, according to my grind chart, that is 12.3. So we're gonna zero the King Grinder P2 again. Okay, so that is 12.3. One rotation is 10. Okay, and then 11. 12.1.2. Okay, 12.2. Then we're gonna do the same. According to the website, the King Grinder P2 is actually intended for both um, for both espresso and filter use. But I haven't really used it in an espresso. I haven't really tried it yet. We're also gonna test the P2 for the for espresso use, but right now we are simply trying to establish the we are simply trying to establish the grind chart so that we can easily use it in the future okay most of my grinders i do a grind chart conversion so that um, i can easily replicate my recipes so based off on the commandante okay i think that's enough oh this looks very promising oh interesting right um visually wow Visually, they look the same. I need to take a picture of this. Visually, they look exactly the same. Right, um, we're gonna do the... We're gonna use the particle analyzer again. Right. Just let me set up my rig. We're gonna use the particle analyzer again. Um, let's do the Commandante first. Right, and then test. We are getting around yeah, around 1,900 microns, 1,000 to, or 900 to 1,000, 995, 994. Now, let's try the... Okay, now we're gonna do the King Grinder P2.
right? Maybe a bit more. Okay. Wow, we are very close. All right. So I, I guess we have established the um, grind chart. Um, the reason that the reason why the the reason why the King Grinder P2 came out a bit smaller is in the conversion in the in my chart in the conversion chart it is a bit smaller because 12.2 is not quite the number 20 on the commandante. Right, so you can actually do 12.2 or 13 if you are targeting to use the 20 clicks on the Commandante, but it's very close. So I think we have the right um, grind chart for the King Grinder P2. Now that we have the um, conversion chart of the P2, we can actually test it for the Groove Sifter. We can actually test for particle distribution. Okay, um, so that's it for this episode. Um, we finally managed to do the, um, the conversion chart for the King Grinder P2. I will be able to do more tests now because of the conversion chart based off on the Commandante. So in the future, we will be comparing it with the QAir, the, the K6, yeah, and other grinders in its category. But for now, Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!